Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. So today our lesson is a deletion operation on binary search tree. So let's start. So when we are talking about the deletion of a node from a binary search tree, we can basically encounter three kind of situations. The first is when the node to be deleted is a leaf node. So if we want to delete this node with the value 20 from this binary search tree, this is one kind of scenario. Next scenario is when the node to be deleted has only one child. That is, if we want to delete 30, which is happened to be having one child. And the third or the last case is the node to be deleted has two children. So here, this is this node which has two children. This has to be deleted. So these three scenarios. Now, Depending on these three different scenarios, we have developed three different kind of algorithms which will be implemented Im simultaneously in a function. So when we execute the deletion operation, the three conditions we have to keep in mind and we have to abide by these three different algorithms. So for the node to be deleted is a leaf node will simply remove from the tree. If the node to be removed has only one child, then the child node is copied to the node and the node is deleted. And if the node to be deleted has two children, then in order successor of the node is searched and the contents of it is copied to the node. Finally, the in order successor is deleted. So if we go back to the two scenarios, in this scenario, what we did that this node we want to delete and it has single this child. What we do, we copy this child node to this node and we simply free this node. As we can see, this is the resultant binary search tree after deletion. And when the node have two children, what we do, we first find the in order successor. For this binary search tree, the in order successor is the node with the value 60. So we simply copy this node to here, which is to be deleted and deleted. And we can see that it's been done. So let's now jump onto the coding part and see how we can implement it. So I have opened my ID and I have uh, typed down these lines of codes. Here what I had done is simply I had created a binary search tree. Now from this line onwards, we will start the deletion operation. So for this, first we will be printing out a message to the user. Enter the value to be deleted. So here we'll use a scanf percentage d. Let's say the variable name is key. Uh, we'll have to take this variable actually. And then we'll simply use this function delete node where we will pass this root and key. So now let's define this function. So the return type will be struct node star. So the arguments here will be first of all struct node r and let it be key. So here first if the r is null then simply return the r else if key is greater than the r data then r right is equal to delete node r right and the key value else if key is less than the r data then r left will be r left comma key so this was the part till here we dealt 
with the scenario when node to be deleted is a leaf node now here we'll encounter these second situations so if r left is equal to null so condition where node to be deleted has one so this is the case then we'll take a node first so struct node let's name it temp is equal to r right then we'll free the r and we'll return the temp again if the r right is null so for that as if r right is equal to null then this r left will be stored in this temp and will be returned now otherwise what we'll do we'll again take a node struct node start temp here we will find the we'll find the in order successor here i'll pass the right child of the root value so this is finding in order successor of the node to be deleted so i'll first uh, define this function so again the return type will be struct node star this function and let's say the argument is struct node star node so actually again take a demo node and store this node here now I'll run a loop while R left sorry while node left not equal to null what we'll do is okay sorry this will be actually not node but demo and here demo will be demo left finally we'll return the demo so now coming back to again here so after finding that i'll copy this data to the data of the root node that is to be deleted so temp data and lastly i'll operate this delete node function on r right comma this not key this time this will be temp data because this also needs to be deleted and lastly return r so this is the delete node function and here in order to check whether it was deleted i'll say now the in order traversal of the binary search tree is a new line and I'll again pass the root down here and I'll just print a new line that's it so let's now run this program and see how it can be implemented okay so we have the uh, output here so the traversal in order traversal of the initial binary search tree is properly done now let's say we want to delete this node 22 yes the program works so this was how you could implement the deletion operation on binary search tree thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time